Mail's here. I've been waiting for this one for a while. Let's check out what's in the box. This is a Yamaha M1516 console. It's the console that we have used here at Gem City Studios for the last two years, and it's pretty incredible. It can be really, really modified, and they sound great. They're very punchy. We have been using a very modified version of this console for two years and continue to work on it and do upgrades along the way since we started using it. The console that we've been using was in Glow in the Dark when Goldman was in Atlanta before he moved to Jellico and to Gym City. And I have wanted to do another one of these for a while. And I found one and I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. And so today it arrived. And this is going to be, I guess my summer project. I'm gonna work on this console. I'm going to modify it. Some of the things that make this console special are the Yamaha designed input transformers. It also has a Yamaha designed a very big op amp inside of there that I think is sort of their clone of a API op amp. Very good sounding console. The EQs, they leave a little bit to be desired, but that's one of the main things that, that can be overhauled about this desk that makes it very, very musical and great for recording because the mic pre's already have a really punchy, really cool character to it. And if you just add direct outs to the channel, it can be a recording console. Then you can scrape off basically all the existing components and you can put one of these babies in there. Inductor based EQ that can be mounted right in, retrofitted onto each of the channel strips and you just put a little bit of double sided tape on the back of it and it'll stick in there. And that's what we've done to the console that we've been using. And then the EQs become much more musical, less harsh. They sound great on all sources. I use them all the time on drums, acoustic guitars, vocals, you name it. It's a great sounding desk for tracking once you do that. And so I'm gonna do it to this little one. And initially I thought, oh, maybe I'll stick it in the B room, even though that's absurd because most of the time we're just tuning vocals or editing something or occasionally mixes happening in the B room. Almost nobody is ever actually tracking down there. And, and, and if it is, it's like a guitar overdub. So complete overkill to have a 16 channel desk. So I decided to just go ahead and make this my summer project. And I don't know, I'll probably just put it on Nashville Craigslist, Cincinnati Craigslist, all the kind of major cities that are within a three, four hour driving distance from the studio. And I'll flip it because I really enjoy working on electronics. I think these are cool desks. And so finding one super cheap and then being able to have a few weeks to go through it, use my soldering skills, read a schematic, test components, and then be able to make this into something that somebody can get a lot of use out of and will be really cool for, for their recording studio. That, that's a fun project. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got this console today. I'm looking forward to it. And what I plan to do is document the entire overhaul process. So today I need to finish getting the packing peanuts off of this guy, get him off the floor. And I'm going to take this over to my garage and set it up. And in the next video, we will go ahead and start taking this desk apart so that uh, we can begin working on it. So guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you're seeing and if you don't want to miss out on the next video, please, please, please like and comment and hit that bell notification so you know the next time that I post a video. This is gonna be a whole series that we're gonna put out about overhauling this Yamaha M1516 console. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.